Here's your host, Deb St. Hilaire. Hey, divas. Welcome to the show tonight. It is going to be really fun. We're changing it up because it's a new month. It's... Oh, I need to shut that off. (laughs) It's a new month, and our theme is relationship and hearts. Not Valentine's, hearts. It is... Look, I can hear myself. (laughs) Deb, can you hear me? I can't really hear me. Um... It, so it's kind of fun. It's going to be a fun month. We have it chock full of interesting things. And I want you to know that today, this very day, it is one year since we moved into this building. Wow. That's awesome. One year. Woo-hoo. Isn't that cool? And now we're in the biggest office. So when is it going to be a year for that? That we're here? In this Next office. year. <laughs> no, we moved in in November, didn't we? Before Thanksgiving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I have it in my planner. So I Good. just move it from year to year so that we know. That's kind of a fun thing. Um, you can join our LD in the chat room. She's back. No, nope, I'm not in, in the chat you're room. You're not? Oh, no. But you... Um, you can't join her in the chat room, but I'll have my phone here. So if you are in the chat room, I will see you. You can also go to our Facebook page, or if you want to call in, the number is 989-402-5414, but please don't do so until after the break. And I'm not going to tell you why. (laughs) (laughs) Last week was our anniversary party, and that was really fun. Yes, that was a lot of fun. And did you know that? Everybody, that there's going to be six more weeks of winter. Mm. I'm sorry. I hated to be the one. You know how long they've been doing that? Since 1887. Wow. I didn't even know groundhogs existed. (laughs) They must have been prehistoric ones. They must have been. They must have been. (laughs) That was when they still called him by his formal name. Woody? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So we have our guest this evening is Danielle Zeroff from One Month at a Time, which was the show right before us. Awesome. Hello. Welcome. Hello, hello. And our sponsor spotlight this evening is Lisa Lee from Wendell's Home Interiors. You not only are a sponsor of the show and the website, you also sponsor jazz on Sundays at 1 o'clock. Absolutely. It's all about atmosphere. It is. Oh, that's yeah. right. all about atmosphere. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> so so now you know their voices, and we have LD say hey. Hey. I'm and working we, on getting in the chat room oh, right now. Oh, thank you. You're and welcome. we also have Misty here. You could be in the chat room, too, you know? I'm just here to talk. Oh. <laughs> oh. And look pretty standing over there. Yeah, that's a chat room. Isn't it? <laughs> running the buttons, She's running the buttons, that's right. And we're drinking two different wines this evening. One is a leftover from last month. But I mean we just opened it. But it was and it's a Warner Hollyberry. And it's the what do you think of it, Danielle? Tell us about it. Amazing. Tell us about it. Fabulous and fruity. Fabulous and fruity. Is it slightly effervescent? Yes. I was just going to say that. (laughs) And you're supposed to serve it chilled. I hope it was chilled. It was chilled. And the other one that we're drinking was uh, one of uh, LD's favorites that we went and got last week for the party, and it's Mm -hmm. Apothic Red, and it's also one of my favorites. It's very good. So we're talking about relationships and hearts, and I thought to start it off, what a perfect, and why you were a perfect guest, (laughs) Danielle, Mm -hmm. was because you not only have a family, you're also into fitness. Oh, yes. So you'll fit, we're going to be talking about family relationships and your heart, strengthening your heart. Love it. So um, I thank you for being here. And Lisa has a very touching story that I hope she'll share with us about her son that she experienced Oh, my. This week. You're going to make me cry. No, just a little bit. <laughs> LD has Kleenexes on her desk. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You want me to go get them? No, that's okay. <laughs> so when we break out into our family section, I hope that we'll, you can share that with us Absolutely. a little bit. Would because that's, be honored to. that's very touching. And then you can send this to him and make him cry, too. Oh, he's, he's yeah, <laughs> if, they, if they give him time. Yes. <laughs> so, family relationships. You know, I always say that they're the most relation, most important relationships. Always says that. Because, <laughs> I always say that. 
relationships. They're the most important relationships <laughs> because they mm. form our children's ideas of what relationships should yep. be, and it teaches them how to view the world through the eyes of a person in a relationship. That's exactly right. And one of the things, uh, taking responsibility in a relationship is very important, and I think if you give your children responsibility in their relationship to the family, that it's good. So we're going to talk about stuff like that and awesome. unconditional love mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's good stuff. All that kind of stuff. All that kind of really good stuff. <laughs> so let's start off by telling us a little bit about you. Um, how many children do you have? I have three boys. Uh, Brady is eight and Carter is six and Logan is three. And mm. how long have you been married? I have been married nine and a half years. This summer will be ten. Oh, Ooh. very nice. Wait, are you going to do anything special? I don't know. That's a whole nother show. That's a whole nother show. We're going to have to get... <laughs> oh, you yes. Need, yes, you, you have You need to. to get her husband to talk to your husband. Absolutely. Ooh. I'll give you the number afterwards. Yeah. Thank you. He <laughs> has a very good philosophy oh, on... Oh, cool. Um, yes. I'll give you some hints on what to do. All <laughs> right. Awesome. She's, you're going to have to come back like over and over oh, again. Yes. <laughs> it. So, um, Lisa, how long have you been married? David and I have been amazingly happily married for 25 years. Oh, so 25 awesome. 25 years. Yes. Awesome. I know. I, it looks, it's hard to believe because I look so young. It <laughs> is. Were really, you getting married when you were three? Oh, no. But keep, bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> no, she was five and a half. Oh, no. Oh, then that's a different story. 26. And he was 30. And he was <laughs> arranged marriages, you know. And that was... <laughs> I will and, say that's very rare. Like, you never hear about that besides grandparents. About arranged marriages? No, about... <laughs> that's awesome. Lasting oh. that long. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I'm still thinking it's awesome. And, he's, and they're still so much in love, aren't you? We are. But, you know, in any relationship, it's, it's a decision. It is. It's not an emotion. It's a decision. And it takes work. And it, we were talking mm-hmm. about, yes. you know, in, in relationships, there's only one person you can change. Yeah, that's yourself. Right. That's right. And so many people oh. point and mm-hmm. say he does this, he, he does, does this. that, but there's four, four being pointed back at you. That's right. And so just things like that we've done in our marriage hasn't. I'm not telling you there's there haven't been hard times or anything like that, but you, you like you said, put things into perspective. Um, quit focusing on self. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, quit expecting him to be. You're all in all. Mm-hmm. Um, and realize, you know, pull your big girl panties up. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And, and get on with and it. And get on with it. <laughs> what, what's really important. That's you know? right. That's, That's right. awesome. And how many children do you have? We have two children. Taylor Christopher Lee is our son, 22 years old. And our daughter is uh, Michaela Lee, and she's 17. And oh. both of the, them are very nice. Mm-hmm. I had the pleasure of meeting them, and oh, I thanks. was very imp- It made me like you guys more. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. And, and that's the truth. And, you know, that's a huge compliment. Well, thank you. I really enjoyed her. We, we talked for quite she's, a while. So. We have awesome kids. Yes, you do. Good job. So thank you. You're welcome. And Tammy, yes. how long have you been married? 19 years this month. Ooh, Ooh what are you going to do? You, your husband's going to have to call Ken, Work. too. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And you know what? That's too bad that it's in April because that's when you're like going crazy. That's your crazy month. You mean yeah. February? February. Oh, dear. <laughs> there I go again. Tab can't get her month straight for anything. <laughs> I have no sense of time whatsoever. You're thinking tax season April. That's uh, yes, what it thank was. you. Yeah. Thank you for making an excuse <laughs> for me. <I'll> be- <laughs> You know, Ken actually does pretty good job. I, I'm sure he'll cook something fabulous. Aw, yeah. he's very thoughtful. Yeah. You know, and actually, he just loves the heck out of you. Yes, he does. He does. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, last night he was teaching our son how to make chicken and white wine leek sauce. Yum! Yes. Oh, that's one of the yeah. things Delicious. you oh, rave yeah, that about. I want him to make for you. Yum! But Warren is going to cook it for his girlfriend. Oh, 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 starting them out well. He's 16. I'm like, honey, you learn to cook like your dad, and the girls will be lining up. To that's date you. right. Yes. That's that's very true. Yes, he's a fabulous cook. So you have a daughter and a son, and the yes. son is 16. Oh. And how old is the daughter? 14. And she's very cute and nice. Thank you. She is. If you want to see Tammy's daughter, she is <laughs> tall, <laughs> and she's also the model of our garb on uh, yes. W4 Divas. Oh, she, yeah. Oh. yeah, she's very. She's very. Familiar. 
photogenic. Yeah, she's. Oh, those pictures that Ken took of her. Yes. At, and now he's got the, the new skate. lens for his birthday. Yes. Ken just turned 50, so I got him the camera lens he's been drooling over for a decade. Oh, Ooh. wow. Yeah, it was expensive, but his parents went in with me. She likes holding <laughs> out for 10 years. That's how she, <laughs> <laughs> so, Juliana, yeah. you were married for quite a few years. Quite a few. How, <laughs> how many? About 30. And how oh. long have you been divorced now? Oh, about three or four. Wow, that went fast, didn't it? It did. There's a lot of busyness in between the time that I got my divorce and, you know, now. And may I say that you've come out of it quite well. Aww. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. You may say that. You Thank look you. long, <laughs> darling. Than last year. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, how many children? I have two kids. Look, I'm gonna. I went like this to tell her to yeah. remind her how many kids. Yeah, yeah, I have two kids. I have a daughter who's. Um, we're not going to talk about age, and then because she always tells me she's 21, and right now I believe her. I believe her. That's good. You know what I told you before? What my mom always said: she never felt old until my birthday. Yes. And I understand that now. Aww. I didn't understand that for a long time. Well, I do my now. Son is, my son is not quite as old as my daughter, and and. He is quite wonderful, and he cooks, too. And mostly nice. He, uh, you know, takes care of me because he's living Aww. with me. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. You know, and it's nice to have that companionship, isn't it? It is. It is. Because, you know, at 4 a.m., it's nice to have somebody to push me out of the driveway. Oh, yes. yes. She has to go to work then. Oh, God, yes. I bet you were count, counting your blessings, actually. Yeah, well, I was very happy I knew how the how the scoop shovel works. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, very good. And our Misty here, um, how many children do you have? I'm not even going there, girlfriend. <laughs> how, how many children do you have? I have four. Four. Would you like to know how old they are? Please, talk right into Nine, that microphone. They are 19, 16, 15, and 8. How did they get so old? I'm I not know. that old. I don't know. Well, I'm not even talking about how old my children are. It's just, it is. It's That's just what I keep. Oh, keep Wait a minute, 16, 15, and 8? Yeah. Why did I think 19. you... I thought you had a 10 and an 8. No. Why did I think that? I don't, I don't know. I didn't know you had a 16 and a 15. Well, look at her. So you never family. guess. So the point Jenna. that I'm, I'm trying to make is that and we all have families, and we all go <laughs> through the same, maybe not exactly the same things, but very similar things. And, you know, it's we have our hard times. All families have hard times. So, um... Danielle, if you were to give a piece of advice on, let's pretend that we're talking to a family that's just starting out. Okay. And you have all the experience that you have now. And what piece of advice would you give to this young family? Don't sweat the small stuff. Oh, that's good. Why? Because how I parented each boy was very different. I thought I had to follow this these rules, this beautiful book on what to expect when they're born. And so I followed and, and Brady got, you know, his solid food at the right month. And he, you know, was expected to do this. And that child is the most rigid child. Uh -huh. He is, he is just like I, I raised him. Yeah. And that's the third one. He is well, one, a free <laughs> spirit <laughs> and hellion. And how's the middle one? The middle one is a, a little pleaser. Like sometimes I want to be like the older one and sometimes I want to be like the little one. Like he just huh. kind of goes either way. But that third one, I'm like, you know, this didn't work very well with the other two. Let's try it this way. And he's very, very free spirit. And so... The things that I worried about, I should have never worried about. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I'm such a bad yeah, Oh, and I forgot. No, I'm, no, you're not. I have two children, two stepchildren, and seven oh. grandchildren. Oh, wow. They're okay. all my husbands, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> I have a 22-year-old stepson. <laughs> oh. So if you, same question, Lisa. <laughs> same question would be know the personality types of your children because Ooh. you cannot... You cannot parent them all the same. Oh, amen, no. sister. So, you know, as a high I and a high D, a DISC is a very easy, simple personality profile. Um, I had to learn that my daughter is a very detailed person. Well, mm. an I is like, hey.